Psalm 103, verses 1 to 5. My soul praise Yahweh, and all that is within me praise his holy name. My soul praise the Lord, and do not forget all his benefits. He forgives all your sin. He heals all your diseases. He redeems your life from the pit. He crowns you with faithful love and compassion. He satisfies you with goodness. The author, David, is praising the Lord with his lips and with his heart. Charles Spurgeon says that this psalm is man's reply to the benediction of his God. Also, he says, David awakens all the melodies of heaven and earth in honor of one living and true God. In the first five verses, the psalmist sings of personal mercies which he has himself received. What a beautiful song to sing in the morning, early afternoon, in the evening, and after dinner. I find myself many times singing one song all day long, many days in a row, and night as well. These songs fill my mind with joy, peace, and a sense of reverence for our Lord and Savior. Some days I use furniture as instruments to amplify my songs for the Lord. Other times I take my guitar out and then I find a song on a laptop, turn it on, and follow along with the artist in praising the Lord. Sometimes I recruit the cats or Gabriella to help me sing to the Lord. Times like these are the best times to bless others with your singing. I spent a lot of times as a young child at home. Uh, both my parents loved to sing or listen to music. My father would take his radio everywhere as he worked in the construction business. My mom would sing as she was cooking for all of us. They were not part of a choir or gifted with any instruments, but they praised the Lord. I listened along with my siblings, and we grew embracing music as a form of worship and gratitude to our Savior. How about you? Do you sing to the Lord? Well, when I met Gabriella, she told me that she doesn't sing because her teacher, her music teacher in ninth grade said she didn't have any tone, so she was scared to sing. It was nothing like that. Even Kemper can sing beautiful songs. You can do it. Anybody can do it. People might not say anything about your songs, but they are definitely listening. Country music might be great. Rap songs might get you moving and get you pumped up, but nothing compares with a Christian song that magnifies the name of Jesus. I want to leave you with the lyrics of a song that I sang during this pandemic, a song that is in my mind and in my heart every single day. The song is written by, uh, I think, Chris Tomlin. He performs it. The name of the song is Greater. And this is what it says. From him, through him, and to him are all things. To God be the glory. His word endures from beginning to end. To God be the glory. Greater is the one who lives in me. Greater is the love of Jesus. Greater than my sin. Greater than the grave above all other thrones, above all other names, greater, you're greater. Second verse says, He was and is and forever will be, to God be the glory. His power in us, He is strength for the weak, to God be the glory. And for the bridge, He says, Jesus, you reign forever. Jesus, you reign forever. There's no one like you, Jesus, you reign. Jesus, you reign forever. Jesus, you reign forever. There's none beside you, Jesus, you reign. Jesus, you reign. Sing to the Lord and praise his name for everything he does in our lives. <laughs>